Welcome to Essential Oils 101. Um, this is going to be a fun educational training time um, where I can just kind of show you guys uh, everything Young Living and Essential Oils. But I'm going to be covering about 150 years of aromatherapy in a pretty short amount of time. So don't feel overwhelmed. Um, and, you know, feel free at the end of this, you guys can ask any questions um, that you have. So just bear those in mind. Um, and then you can also contact me or whoever invited you. Um, and they can also answer any other questions that, that you may have. All right. Um, so my, my story of kind of how I got into this, um, I have had a lot of health issues um, myself over the years, really since childhood. Um, I was exposed to black mold as a kid. Um, it was in our house and we had no idea for years and years, which very much so compromised my immune system. Uh, chronic bronchitis, um, pleurisy, pneumonia, anyone sneezes 20 feet away from me and I'm going to get sick with whatever they had and 10 times worse and I'm going to have it for months and months and months. Um, hospitalizations, antibiotics, 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 I'm diabetic, polycystic ovarian cyst syndrome. So just kind of have a lot going on. Um, last year was a really rough year for me. I was hospitalized twice. Um, the first time was earlier in the year and that was for pneumonia. Um, which was pretty bad. I was out of work for a good month. I was in the hospital for four days on oxygen. Um, and then more recently I got to spend Christmas in the hospital, um, for a kidney infection, which was super fun. And I remember just kind of sitting in the hospital this last time and just being really upset and really angry. And I'm sure the nurses thought I was crazy. I was like literally screaming at my body and my immune system. Why do you defy me? Like, why won't you just do the one job you have, which is just, you know, keep me healthy, keep me able to work and, and do the things I need to do and not in the hospital. Um, so, you know, eventually I was discharged from the hospital for that. I had kind of met Deborah through a mutual client that I had um, working with pets and she, you know, had been sharing with me, she always had a bag of goodies when she found out about my kidney infection, she kept pulling out, you know, Ningxia Red and, and all these great things and, and trying to help me out. And it had such a big impact for me um, that, you know, I decided to dive in with it. And the results for me and, you know, from my personal experience has been completely amazing. Um, I feel that I'm finally able to communicate better with my body, listen to it more and give it what it needs and what it's asking for, because that's kind of what I've realized I'm um, going through a lot of things that I've gone through is that, you know, we can't be so frustrated with our bodies for not doing their jobs. And we're not giving it the tools that it needs to do that job. Um, and I think that's where I was at. Um, and I think that's where a lot of people are at. Um, and so for me, I was able to um, really help myself was with not only the essential oils, but also the products, the other products that we have um, with Young Living vitamins and supplements um, and all that kind of stuff. And I've just been able to really support my body um, in a really, really amazing way um, that's had such an amazing impact for me um, throughout this whole, you know, COVID thing and everything going on most people um, have at least some level of fear. And it's, you know, for me personally, I don't have that fear because I have thieves and I have my vitamins and I have my supplements. And I know that I'm taking care of myself in a way that even though I am of that group that is, you know, more susceptible, um, that I can take care of myself and I can help my body to, be protected. Um, and I've also, because I'm so into animals, um, been a vet tech for years. Um, and I have my own fur babies as well. Um, being able to use them with my pets as well and knowing the purity of it is there, that it's safe, um, has been truly amazing since all my animals have their own little issues as well. 
um, to be able to support them in the ways that they need. And they absolutely love this stuff. So um, it's so funny to see the things that they congregate around when I'm diffusing um, and the other ways that I've been able to support them has been uh, truly amazing. So that's my story. Um, but what are essential oils? Well, they are the most powerful part of the plant. Uh, they are distilled from the shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, rushes, fruit, rinds, resins, and herbs. Uh, oils consist of hundreds of different natural organic compounds. In humans, they provide support for every system in the body. Our skeletal system, muscular skeletal system, circulatory system, endocrine system, hormones, respiratory system, and immune system. They support brain health and healthy weight. They are used extensively for spiritual support and in your prayer life, as well as emotional support. They've been used for thousands of years as beauty aids. An oil in a diffuser can soothe a child's tough day at school and provide a calming effect when you've had a stressful day at work. Oils can be used as an alternative to cleaning chemicals in the home. You can literally start swapping out every single chemical in your household to live a pure lifestyle. And you can do it without breaking the bank, uh, which is amazing and which is, that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. Um, so this is the uh, premium starter kit. And that's the one that I'm gonna really talk mostly about today. Uh, the premium starter kit has a value of $412, and it's steeply discounted down to $165. It's going to come with uh, 12 full-size bottles of oils. You can get the Desert Mist Diffuser, or you can also get that dew drop that they have pictured here. Uh, that has 11 different colored light settings, including the candle setting. And this one kit contains respiratory oils, pain oils, immune support oils, stress oils, emotional oils, digestive oils, oils for alertness and oils for fear, as well as internal aromatic and topical oils. And it also has our powerhouse product of Ningxia, a whole liquid uh, fruit supplement loaded with antioxidants. It also contains Thieves, which is the most affordable oil-infused plant-based cleaning line on the planet. I love this kit because it gives you a whirlwind sample of some of the best products that we have at a really discounted price. How do I use oils? You don't need to be an aromatherapist to use essential oils. In most cases, you're just gonna put it on topically on your skin. Um, but there are three main ways that you can get oils into your system. You can use them topically, ingest them, and diffuse them. Uh, different cultures have used essential oils differently. In the English, uh, they like to apply them topically, so they just rub them on the skin. The French like to ingest or to cook with them, and the Germans like to diffuse or inhale them. Tests have shown that oils are going to reach the heart, liver, and thyroid within three seconds when inhaled. Uh, they were found in the bloodstream within 26 seconds when applied topically. Expulsion, which is the oils getting out of your system, um, that is going to happen in a healthy person within three to six hours. Next slide. Okay, essential oils history. So oils were first mentioned by name in the biblical book of Genesis uh, when Joseph was sold to the slave traders. They carried spicery, balm, and myrrh, and there were over 1,100 direct and indirect mentions of essential oils in scripture. Some of the oldest cultures on earth have used essential oils. The Babylonians used cedarwood, myrrh, and cypress. The Egyptians use essential oils for beauty and embalming, um, which I find hilarious that the Egyptians uh, made DIYs before it was a hashtag, um, but they did. They made the, the oldest record of deodorant recipe was made with essential oils by the Egyptians. Uh, Pakistan and Rome use essential oils in the uh, communal bathhouses. And if you remember back to Sunday school and the birth of Jesus, what was he given? gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And what is frankincense and myrrh? Um, and those gifts were by the wise men. Uh, frankincense is sometimes referred to as the coconut oil of essential oils. It literally has over 10,000 uses, and that's why it was such an amazing gift. 
Essential oils were used by the medieval Europeans, but it really was only after World War II when oils were rediscovered and the science has just been growing and growing since then. Uh, do essential oils work? <laughs> I used to buy essential oils online or you know the grocery store, farmer's market, even Costco used to have this like huge pack of them that you could get for like 20 bucks or something. Um, in the United States, there's no rating system for essential oils. It would be wonderful if there was because then we would know exactly what we were buying. If you walk into the grocery store and you look at a box of cereal, you'll see the nutritional facts on the back um, that tells you exactly what is in there. But there's no nutritional facts on the side of oils. And so that really means that you have to trust the source of where they are coming from. You have to know the company and know the purity of it. And that is what sets Young Living aside, is our seed to seal promise. So we'll kind of go through seed to seal quickly, but um, it's the one thing that sets Young Living apart from every single other essential oil company out there. Um, and we'll break that down for you. At Young Living, we do not strip constitutes to make our oils smell better. We do not mix species of the same oil. We do not spray weed killers or pesticides or herbicides or use genetically modified seeds, GMOs. We spend $12,000 per acre to hand weed lavender instead of the industry standard of $60 an acre for the same plant. That industry standard is because they're spraying pesticides, which is much cheaper than hand weeding that plant. Uh, we do not distill with solvents like hexane. Our soil is not tainted with mercury, arsenic, glyphosate, or any other poisons. Our fields are untouched by toxin chemicals. And we harvest at the exact time of day that the Young Living Researcher team has found to be the ideal time for that specific plant. Uh, we know when that peak is because of our extensive library on oils. We have farms on six continents and have been doing this for nearly 30 years. Because of this and the commitment to scientific research, we have the oldest and largest global library on essential oils. Um, so this map is of all of our farms that we have. As you can see, they are worldwide. Um, so we literally have farms everywhere. Uh, Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, he grew helichrysum essential oil at St. Mary's in Idaho and Moana in Utah, then in the Mediterranean country of Puerto Rico to watch its scores on the seed to seal testing. He did this because we don't know where it grows natively. And so we're gonna grow it where it grows best and produces the most effective oils for the body. It's a bit of experimentation. At Young Living, we are completely transparent and our farms, as you can see, are all over the world. You can visit them yourself, any of the farms. You don't even have to be a member to visit these farms. Anybody can go to them. Um, and that's part of that transparency. We do extensive testing on every single bottle of oil. We test eight times at the farm, then again in Spanish Fork, Utah, and then again after bottling. We do 24 tests per bath to make sure that oils meet our high standards. Then we do third party testing with two accredited respected independent labs. Young Living Oils are tested by scientists with over 180 years of combined lab experience. Most of the scientists were hand trained by Gary Young himself. Young Living is a global leader in essential oils with nearly $2 billion in sales annually. That means that those that are using these products in the oils keep returning because they work. There are 3,000 global employees, 600 life-changing products, 16 corporate and partner farms, more than 20 international markets, 50 high-trained scientists, 12 independent partner labs, and 6 million global members. It's, uh, pretty impressive. Um, so if you guys wanna check out the Seed to Seal Promise, I have the website right there. It's just seedtoseal.com. Why would you get an oil to get away from chemical products and then get an oil that is laden with chemicals. Um, you can't have quality without cost and you get what you pay for 
that's just reality. A third party lab test doesn't make an oil pure at all. Saying that the oil is pure doesn't make them pure. Integrity, integrity, hard work, and high standards do, and that's what Seed to Seal promises, and that's why we're different at Young Living. It's the promise of purity, and you can learn more about it at that website, but all of the oil is shipped from around the world to Spanish Fork, Utah, and that's where it goes through, again, a vigorous eight-point testing to ensure its purity. Those tests are run in triplicate at the farm in Spanish Fork and a third time before bottling. And what that means is that the testing is done thorough, it's done precisely, and that's why I don't get my oils um, anywhere else, absolutely anywhere else. Uh, they don't have the teams necessary to stay on top of the hundreds of oils and blends. They don't have seed to seal promise. You can't visit their farms, um, and you really have no idea about the purity of it. So why can't you just buy, you know, unpure oils from the grocery store? I have seen bottles of frankincense for $7 um, at grocery stores or Costco, for instance, but it costs more than that just to distill it. It's a real big red flag that it's the oil has been altered in some form. Uh, this photo here shows you the frankincense resin. Um, this is our frankincense and it is being distilled at the proper temperature for days uh, to pull the best oil out of the plant. The labor to distill this plant is one of the reasons that it's so costly. The only way that it can be sold for seven, 10, $12 is that the oil is adulterated um, and is no longer pure. Otherwise they wouldn't make a profit selling it that way. The frankincense tree, before um, you can get any oil out of it, it has to be tapped and it's like a maple syrup tree. So you can see there in the left how it's kind of oozing um, that syrupy stuff. The resin will ooze out, but it'll quickly turn into the hard resin that you can see in the bottom of the screen. And it takes a long, long process to turn it into the oil that you see in the frankincense bottle. The reason that other companies can sell it so cheaply is they're adulterating the oil by distilling it with solvents, many of which can be cancer causing. And doing it in this way is faster and cheaper, so you can sell the oil for a lot cheaper and more quickly. Um, that reduces their labor costs and all costs, really. But then you've got concentrated solvents in your oil that you're using. A young Living doesn't use any chemical solvents to extract the frankincense. And that's exactly what Seed to Seal is. We do things the hard way, but it's because it gets the best, purest product. All the oils in the world are gonna fall into four categories. Authentic, manipulated, perfume, and synthetic. Authentic means that the oils are 100% pure. No added synthetics and no additives in the bottle, and that is Young Living Essential Oils. Manipulated means the final product has been made to smell more pleasing and less earthy. So I don't know how many of you have smelled some of our oils, but not all of them are the most wonderful smelling in the world. <laughs> some of them are a little bit on the, I guess you could call it the earthy side, but um, maybe you're not maybe always going to enjoy every single one of them, but that's because they're not manipulated. Um, they're pure, and so they haven't had anything manipulated and or stripped out of them in order to make the aroma more appeasing to us. Um, perfume oils, those are not going to be pure at all. They're mixed with synthetics to enhance the aroma and they have absolutely no therapeutic action. Synthetic oils are not true oils at all. They smell nothing like the original plant and they're typically labeled as scented products. So before you purchase an oil, check to see the company grows their own plants, has seed to seal, promise and controls the entire process from the farm to the sealed bottle. Pesticides, pollution, previously farmed land, all of it can affect the quality of an oil. Why go the extra step of getting away from chemicals if you're going to use an oil that is absolutely laden with chemicals and can potentially be toxic? Sorry, my talk is busy. Uh-uh, go lay down. Um, so the impact of spraying pesticides. 
And I really want you guys to see the impact of spraying pesticides and what that can do um, to the human body. So I'm going to show you, uh, there was a study in Sweden. Um, it was cataloged in a video called The Organic Effect. And it's pertaining to food, but you're going to get the idea. It's the same idea um, of what we're doing with the oils. Uh, when it takes tens of thousands of rose blossoms to make an ounce of rose oil, the oils are even more concentrated than in food. So a pesticide sprayed on a crop would be even more concentrated than on food. And this is why we don't spray our crops. So go ahead and watch this video. Most of what is grown today is treated with pesticides. That's not so healthy for the environment, but does it really affect us? Meet the Palmberg family. They don't eat organic food. But for the next two weeks, the Palmbergs are going to eat only organic. Before they begin, urine samples are taken from each of the family members. And it turns out they have a number of different pesticides inside their bodies. We eat all of insects, medel, swamp medel, and straw for cutting medel. They eat the insect medel. So, everything in the kitchen is replaced, and they begin eating only organic. Then, another round of samples are taken, and now, almost all the pesticides have disappeared. We know very little about the long-term effects of eating meat that have been spread. Speciellt med tanke på att studier har visat att kemikalier i kombination kan vara långt farligare än kemikalier var och en för sig. När man får höra det här så tänker man framförallt på barnen. Det är många kemikalier som har lämnat deras kroppar och jag vill inte ha tillbaka dem i mina barn. Most of what is grown today is Hold treated on. with pesticides. Come on. There we go. Uh, Young Living Seed to Seal Promise is a promise of integrity. The plants are harvested at their peak, put through a vigorous seed to seal testing process, and they go from the farm directly to your home. Seed to Seal is not a slogan, it's a promise. Come on now. Most essential oils are sold cheaper than others because companies cut corners to save money. If you spray a crop with pesticides, you have more crop to distill, uh, use a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you can pull even more out. And if you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, you stretch the oil that you have distilled and you can sell it a lot cheaper and increase your profits. It takes a great deal of work to produce a tiny amount of essential oil. Uh, for example, 60,000 rose blossoms provide only one ounce of rose oil. Part of why that one's so expensive too. A lavender is abundant. 200 pounds will provide seven pounds of oil. Jasmine flower must be picked by hand before the sun becomes hot on the very first day they open, making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. Sorry, let me omit someone. Uh, it takes 8 million hand-picked blossoms to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. The good news is a little goes a long way. Most oils are 10 to $30 per bottle, depending on an oil thickness or their viscosity. A 5 mil bottle contains about 90 to 100 drops. So a 5 mil is the little bottles, so up to 100 drops of oil is in there. And a 15 mil, which is the bigger ones, is gonna have 200 to 240 drops. Each application is one to three drops. So that means even one of the small bottles will get you 45 to 90 applications. Thieves Cleaner is made of plants only and it costs about $1.50 a bottle to make. You can't even get that in the organic section of the grocery store. It replaces multi-purpose cleaners, glass cleaner, floor cleaner. Uh, I've even replaced my carpet cleaner um, with it as well. I have had no issues spraying it on my carpet and it's been great for that. Uh, the organic version of that can run you four to $6 a bottle. And that's 
easy. Um, most of them are going to be, you know, at least $12 or so. These cleaner and these hand sanitizer come in the starter kit. Uh, there's an entire class on thieves, and I will do that at another time. Uh, we're currently working on a schedule for that. Um, but there's an entire class that goes over the thieves product and, and all the thieves cleanings. Um, however, in the premium starter kit, you are going to get a bottle of thieves um, to kind of get you started and, and get you to see what it smells like and what it's like. And it has a gazillion uses. Um, so for today, I'm just kind of talking about the premium starter kit. Essential rewards one of my most favorite reward programs. <laughs> um, so it pays you back 10% immediately on almost everything you purchase through Young Living. Everyday products that you're already using, like toothpaste, shampoo, dish soap, supplements, beauty products, um, anything that you want to swap out, you're going to get those points on. After four months, you're going to get 20% back. And after 25 months, you get 25% back. And when they say back, that means whatever amount of money you spend, whatever your percentage is that you're at, you get that back in points that you can turn around and use to purchase whatever you like. Um, in addition to that 24% off, so you're already, if you um, enroll, you're already gonna get 24% discount. If you enroll in ER, now you're gonna get points as well on everything that you order in your ER orders. Um, and if you enroll and you sign up with ER at the same time, so you get your starter kit and enroll in Essential Rewards, then your starter kit is going to go for your first Essential Rewards order and count for your points, um, which is a really nice thing. Um, our 24% discount that you get, that is for life, and you're never obligated to order. So it's really nice. You don't get punished for not ordering. Um, there's no obligation to order. By buying your starter kit, that's going to be a year's worth of membership. There's no yearly membership fee, contracts, commitments. You just get steeply discounted oils and oil-infused products that are the purest in the world. Uh, and if that's not enough, then you're also going to get free oils every single month um, that you order. So every single month we have our, you know, your PV reward items. So PV is your total, use your personal volume of what you're ordering. So it's dollar for dollar. Um, so like this month, if you order $300 worth of product, then you're gonna get a free uh, 15 mil Valor. Um, and I'm sorry, I had the list in front of me earlier as well as a bunch of other oils. Um, that Valor is super expensive and it's just amazing that they're giving us an entire 15 mil bottle. Last month, the top tier uh, was frankincense. So every single month that changes um, and you just get those free oils for ordering. Um, so that's a really nice part of being on Essential Rewards, um, but there's no commitment and it's not something that you have to do. And next slide. So this shows you kind of the breakdown. Um, so, if you sign, if you buy a kit and you sign up on Essential Rewards, then you get $100 going towards your ER freebies. Um, that kit can never be added again onto your ER. Um, so with that being said, it's a good idea to do that right off the bat um, if you feel that that's something that you would like to do. Um, so and that's why I recommend signing up on that right away. If you look at the chart, um, so if you're, say you're ordering $250 every month. After three months of doing that, you're gonna get $495 back um, in points that you can buy for anything. And after six months, you're gonna get over $1,000. Um, so it really does start to add up quickly. Um, what's nice is that there's no commitment. But it does make it, because if you're like me and you like to save money and maximize your money, um, it's really the best way to do it because you're going to get points back for whatever you want. You're going to get free oils, all that on top of your 24% discount. Um, my favorite ER bundle is the Thieves Bundle. 
um, we can take about 60 seconds or so and look at the power of thieves. This is one of my favorite videos. It really does show the power of thieves. Um, so this pan has been through 11 loads in the dishwasher, um, scrubbed multiple times with normal, you know, solutions that are not thieves, um, scrubbing with steel wool, but there's still, it's still gross. There's still soot marks um, that's just burnt into the metal. So let's see what a little bit of thieves and baking soda can do together. All right, guys. So we're trying a little experiment here because we just had a wow moment with lemon oil um, getting all the grease off of the bottom of a pan. And this pan is particularly difficult. Like this has been through multiple dishwasher loads, been scrubbed multiple times. My sister loves to deep fry stuff with coconut oil. So it's like not not coming off. I mean, we, we you have a scrubby rate check it show. Yeah. I, we're just going to scrub it and show you that it's, it's not going anywhere. Like this has been through multiple. It's one of those things where you scrub as hard as you can. It's not going anywhere, right? So we grabbed some baking soda. It's pure baking soda and thieves. So we're not going to use all of this thieves, but we'll pour a little bit of each in and Yep, just like a little sprinkle. And put a little bit of um, thieves cleaner in there. See if we can make some headway on this pan that's been through the dishwasher so many times. So if it's something that I just cooked, I put a couple of drops of lemon, and lemon just makes that pan amazing. If it's something that has been there for a while, you can't get it up, this is my go-to. You want sweet paste? Rachel put even more, and she wants a nice, good paste. Now we're going to take it over to the sink. Let's do a good rinse on it. And then I'm following the pan. Let's see, after multiple dishwasher loads and soap and all the other good things with this really nasty non scrubbable pan looks like. Which way are you in? Five, four, three, two, bam! Fuse cleaner to the rescue. I love that video so much. Um, and I... So one of these days I'm going to have to do my own video because I have my own stories um, of very similar to this, but it truly amazes me that something that is completely plant-based, completely natural and safe is so effective and so powerful and can clean so well. Um, I love the fact that I have these products and that I don't have to get headaches every time I clean my kitchen our bathroom or anything like that. In fact, I love the smell of thieves. It's just very fresh and clean smelling. And best of all for me, I know, you know, I don't have kids or anything, but I have a lot of pets and my cats get all over my counters and I don't have to worry that they're stepping in anything toxic because there's nothing toxic for them to step into. But back to the final bit of our class here. Um, we'll talk safety, and then we'll move on to the oils that are included in the premium starter kit. Um, so a lot of people ask me, you know, if oils are so powerful, how can they be safe? Well, there are certain oils that are photosensitive, meaning you don't really want to wear them and then go outside into the sun. Most of these are going to be your citrus type oils, like citrus fresh, lemon, things like that. Um, when you're using those on your skin, you just want to watch for redness and dilute with a carrier oil. Um, dilute oils on children, their skin is going to be more permeable and absorb the oils more quickly. And the same thing with pets. With pets, dilute, dilute, dilute. Um, remember that they are just a fraction of our size. And a carrier oil is just a fatty oil, like olive oil, coconut oil, something you would find in your kitchen. Uh, its molecules are going to be much larger than those of essential oils. Using a carrier oil with an essential oil will slow down the rate your body can absorb that essential oil. It has to ping pong through the larger molecules of the carrier oil in order to get to your skin. 
Um, so for those of you too that have really sensitive skin, like I personally, I have very, very sensitive skin. Um, so some of the hotter oils I'm a little more sensitive to and can be a little agitating to my skin if I put it on what we call neat, which is where you just put the oil you know, on your, on your skin directly. So for instance, Digize, which comes in your kit, um, for me has provided really amazing support for um, my tummy. Um, but I don't apply that just by itself topically. I put a little bit of our um, Young Living V6 oil, which is a carrier oil, and I'll just put a little bit of that with it, um, and that makes it really nice as well. Um, so I can still put that on topically. I just need that carrier oil um, to slow down the rate that it absorbs into my skin. Um, and I use that one quite a bit. <laughs> uh, be wary of putting oils uh, topically near your eyes. So some of the oils like peppermint can cause a burning sensation. If you are placing an oil near your eye, apply it to a Q-tip um, instead of tipping the bottle towards your face. I don't know how many of you have accidentally gotten peppermint in your eyes, but yeah, it does kind of burn. Um, I particularly will use it um, around my head sometimes, but you do just want to make sure you remember, hey, I've got it on my fingers and not rub your eyes. If you ever do get something like that in your eyes and it's burning, do not flush with water. It's going to make it worse. You actually want to use something. I use our V6 oil just because I know that's safe, um, but something like that, a carrier oil, and you actually put a, a drop of that. Um, and you can also become desensitized to an oil if you use the same oil day after day. So you, it, I rotate my oils every three to four days. Uh, your body is programmed that way, all of ours are, that we build up kind of a resistance to things. Um, so for me, um, I find it most effective if I rotate my oils through every couple of days. Uh, what about internal use of oils? The NAHA, or National Association for Holistic Aromatherapy, does not advocate essential oils for internal use. Why is that? Well, most companies don't carry GRAS oils or generally regarded as safe. Many argue that internal essential oil use is unsafe, and I would agree in some circumstances, um, you need to make sure you're checking the label first. Young Living Vitality oils are approved for internal use, just like a food additive. You've been consuming essential oils internally for most of your life. Wintergreen, spearmint, when you chew gum or you put oregano in your pasta, um, but the NAHA bases a lot of their decisions on the British model, which advocates for topical use only. However, any of the British studies, um, many of the British studies were flawed. For example, they were done at extremely high doses or just in ways that the oils were not designed to be used. Young Living utilizes all three methods, British, French, and German. So we're infusing, ingesting, and topical. Um, the French have been using them internally for decades. The Young Living Vitality line has a distinctive white label so you can easily recognize which oils are safe to take internally. Um, so this is, I hope you guys can see this. So this is a white label, Vitality. So this one is safe to take internally. Um, this is Lemon. And you can see it's not a vitality label, it's a regular label. However, lemon is available in vitality that comes in this white label. So therefore, I know that would be the same oil and I can still take it internally even if it comes in this bottle because it is available in that vitality. So you do just want to make sure um, before you take something internally that it is one that is safe for that. So if it's available in vitality, then it's safe. And that's a really easy way to kind of know what is and isn't. Um, you can also get the desk reference, which I highly recommend. It has tons of great information. And it also will tell you in there um, what the GRAS is and if it's safe for internal use. Okay. Um, if you're using these oils in your water bottle, like I do, use stainless steel. Uh, these oils can corrode plastic. Plastic is not naturally occurring. Um, an essential oil, for example, lemon, is doing its job to break that down. However, the effect in our body and on our skin is very different. 
these oils are supporting our bodies by eliminating toxins and supporting popular cellular function. On the flip side, look at the ingredient list of what you have in your bathroom and in your kitchen. Every day we're putting products on our skin and our body and breathing them in. Many of these products, I would say pretty much all of them contain very damaging chemicals. The average woman applies over 300 chemicals every day to her body just through soaps, makeup, shampoo, and hair, hair care products. 80 of these products are usually before breakfast. When you use Young Living Essential Oils, you are getting a product with one ingredient, like lemon, oregano, tangerine. There's no synthetic additives, no yuck, none of the garbage. So I know this is a little bit overwhelming, um, but I'll say how I started my journey, and that was with the Premium Starter Kit, and I never looked back. You don't walk away from a toxic chemical um, environment and then go back to them again. You'll start to find that those chemical cleaners start to give you a headache when you're around them um, and after you detox and stop using them. And that's your first step to a chemical-free life. Um, I personally was in that boat before even finding Young Living. Um, chemicals have always given me headaches. Um, cleaning, I always wore gloves because even a simple cleaner like a 409 or Lysol or something, you know, you inevitably you get some particles on your hand, but I would accidentally touch my face or my lips and all of a sudden I have puffy lips and I'm breaking out in this rash, um, headaches. Um, I feel like I'm tasting the chemicals like hours after I've cleaned, I still feel like I'm tasting chemicals and it's gross and just, um, was no fun at all to do any kind of cleaning. And I love cleaning with thieves. I spray it. And even if I touch it, which I don't care at all about that. And I touch myself, I'm like, hmm, thieves, let me rub some of this on me, you know? Um, so it's just, it's such a different feeling to clean with these products. And if you're a frugal person like me, um, then, you know, starting off with the premium starter kit is a great place to start because it's half off. The cost of Panaway and frankincense are worth pretty much the entire value of that kit. So you're basically getting 10 more bottles of oils, Ningxia Red, um, two Thieves products, and a diffuser for free. So it's really the best bang for your buck. Um, so we're going to go through and we're going to talk about all the oils that come in your kit. I'm sorry, my chair is kind of sliding down here. So fix that. Um, so the first oil we'll talk about is frankincense, one of my favorites. Um, it is one of the top skin oils. It helps smooth the appearance of skin. It's the key ingredient in Young Living's brain power oil. Diffuse it during prayer, time to help with grounding and purpose. I personally love this oil for the support to my skin and my muscular skeletal system. Um, it's also the main oil that I have used with um, my dog, particularly when I first adopted her. Um, so Nazi, who was running around here somewhere, um, I rescued her from a clinic that I was working at. She had been hit by a car. Um, they waited a really long time to bring her into the clinic and only because animal control was forcing them. But long story short, um, it was too late for surgery um, intervention to help her fractured spine. Um, so one of the things that I was doing for her was using frankincense, um, and that was very supportive for her, and I had really good results with it. Um, for me personally, I love this oil, and I could talk about it all day. Um, I love it for my skin. I love it for my musculoskeletal system. It does make you feel just very uh, grounded. It's very um, soothing smell. Um, I, this is one of my absolute favorite oils. Um, the next one we'll talk about is lavender. Uh, lavender is the oil of relaxation, diffused for calming, soothing aroma, unwind by adding a few drops to a nighttime bath. This is one of the top oils to support healthy skin. And it is often referred to as the Swiss army knife of essential oils because of its many uses. Um, I love this one and I put it in, I burn through lavender like no other. Um, I put it everywhere. <laughs> so 
I put it in my diffuser. This is one I love to diffuse. And I love just having lavender around because um, it goes great with so many other oils. So I love to create new blends in my diffuser that just make my house smell amazing. Um, particularly when I want to wind down. Um, then this is a, a really nice one for me. Um, my animals, my pets really love this one as well. I put this in, even though I'm already using all the Young Living, like shampoo and, and all that stuff, I still have a little extra lavender, especially for me, I, I have very dry skin, um, prone to eczema, and then also living up here um, more in the mountainous and deserty kind of environment, it's very, very dry here. Um, and so I find this very supportive for me. Um, so it's shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, pretty much everything. I was just like a little bit of lavender. Um, so it's one of my favorites. And sorry, my computer is having some glitching today. Uh, peppermint. Okay, I know I say this about everyone, but I really do love all these oils. Peppermint is another one of my favorites. Um, peppermint Vitality. So here you can see um, the white Vitality label. Um, so again, that means safe for internal use as well. Um, it supports gastrointestinal discomfort, promotes healthy bowel function, and enhanced gut function. Helps maintain the efficiency of the digestive tract. It may support performance during exercise, and many call it the highway hypnosis oil because one drop will keep you alert while driving. This oil is also good for mild occasional headaches. Apply to the temples, just don't rub it in your eyes afterwards, and don't forget it was on your fingers. Um, so, you know, if I feel like maybe I have some bad breath, for me, instead of popping a mint in my mouth or chewing gum, um, I just take out my peppermint and drop a little drop on my tongue or underneath my tongue um, just to give me some fresh breath as well. So I love it just for that. Um, it's very powerful. So like this morning, I wanted some in my coffee um, because it is so powerful. Like I don't want to put a whole drop in there. So I'll just take a little um, toothpick in the bottle to get a little bit of it on there and just swirl that in my coffee. So you know, that was really nice for me. Um, this morning was what I did. Um, but it's great for so many things. It's also really, I love to actually combine lavender, um, and peppermint in the diffuser as well can be a really nice, um, one to diffuse. And then we'll talk about citrus fresh, citrus fresh vitality. Um, which is in my water right now, what I'm drinking, um, because it tastes absolutely amazing. Um, but you can also diffuse Citrus Fresh Vitality to freshen up the air. It's a blend mix of orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, and mandarin oils. It's a replacement for chemical-based home fragrances, spritz in rooms, closets, and over lin linens, dilute with V6 carrier oil, and use as a perfume. It also helps to tone and soothe the appearance of skin. This is a powerful oil for the immune support. I love to diffuse it when I feel off. I diffuse it first thing when I wake up in the morning to feel refreshed, invigorated, and ready to start my day. Um, I was one of those people that was drinking like probably 10 cups of coffee a day, like an insane amount. Um, but I, I'm now down to one cup. <laughs> one cup a day. And honestly, a lot of that is just for taste. I haven't quite gotten to the point where I don't, I, I would miss that taste. Um, but I do, I love to wake up in the morning and I'll put this in the diffuser. Um, I have a drop of my water. Um, I also love to mix it with my Ningxia Red. I definitely don't start any day without Ningxia, um, but a little drop of that um, to add into um, my Ningxia Red is really nice as well. Um, but I carry it with me all the time because I love it, love it, love it in my water. Um, for me personally, I have also found it very supportive um, for my bladder, my bladder and kidney health. Um, so that's kind of um, what I have also found it supportive for. And come on. And thieves. These CCs, 
best thing in the world. <laughs> Thieves help support a healthy respiratory system. Thieves has been proven to kill 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria. So when I feel sick, the first thing I do is get the soil in the diffuser, put it on my feet and my spine to set up a germ-free zone. Why the feet and the spine? The spine is where bundles of nerves run through your body and the feet and hands are where they come out. If you put oils in those places topically, you're covering a lot of ground in the body, even if you don't know where those germs are hiding out at. Uh, the feet actually have the largest pores in the body and the oils will absorb more quickly by applying them there. Um, so that's something that I really, my brain had a hard time wrapping itself around that our feet have the biggest pores in the body, but it's, it's really, really true. Um, so you can look in the desk ref reference or you can just Google um, Vitaflex points um, for your feet, but there are pores that are on our feet are huge. They absorb very quickly and they're going to go to specific areas of the body. Um, so if you're trying to target, say, say your lungs, um, then you would look up there the Vitaflex point for that and you can apply whatever oil that you wish to to that area. Um, it will absorb through those pores and go into that area. Um, so it's a nice way to get things in you quickly. Also, like I said, there are a few of our oils that aren't the best smelling or maybe it smells really good to me, but it doesn't smell good to Jean over there and she doesn't want to smell it. Um, and so putting them on your feet can be an effective way to get that oil in you um, because maybe it's something that you really you know, want to get in you, but you don't want the smell. So put it on your feet and put a pair of socks on. And that's a really good way um, to also get things in you. And next is peace and calming, which is so many of our favorites. Um, definitely one of mine, definitely one of my pet's favorites, for sure, for sure. Um, I use it to bring peace to the chaos in my head. I love to diffuse this after a rough day and my pets love having it diffused. Um, my dog and one of my cats do suffer from anxiety issues as all my pets are rescues and this works really well to promote just peace and serenity in my home. Um, my pets all seem to congregate around the diffuser when it's going and it's a little bit different than Stress Away which is another oil we'll talk about in a minute. Um, stress away is more for prolonged use during the day and specifically for that fight or flight response. Um, whereas peace and calming is more, for me, more of an evening or to slow your mind down. Um, peace and calming contains yangling, orange tangerine, patchouli, and blue tansy. Um, I know my mom has said this is another one of her favorites as well, but if you just want to have that spa-like experience when you go to bed at night, um, for me, being in vet med, we work 12, 13 hour days. Our days are intense and insane, um, particularly if I have had to put a pet down that day or whatever about that day was just very stressful. Um, this is my go-to. Um, and I love to just put this in the diffuser and just crash out for the night, but it just makes my whole whole bedroom smells so so nice. Um, I also have like a spray bottle that I have where I put a few drops in my spray bottle, glass spray bottle, and then add some, um, I add a little bit of witch hazel just so that it kind of sticks to things a little better and I add some distilled water. I shake that up and I love to spray the bedding um, on my bed with this just can make it very very peaceful and calming. Um, I also use this one a lot at work. So in vet med, pets are stressed. Nobody likes going to the doctor, especially not pets. Um, so it's been a lot of fun to kind of see how effective it is with pets. They're flailing, freaking out, you know, we're just trying to take their temperature or get a blood sample or something. And we just, you know, it's probably not going to happen because this pet's just flipping out. Um, and so I always carry... For me, it's just easier at work. I carry roll-ons with me, so I make all my oils up into roll-ons, and I'll just whip one out of my pocket, and I'll just sit there and hold it for the pet to smell, and you just kind of see them slowly leaning in more and more to the bottle to smell it. Um, this has been a favorite, 
And if they seem receptive to it, then I'll put some on my hands and let them smell it. Um, and pretty soon we've got our blood sample. We've taken their temperature. We've done everything. Their tail's wagging. They're happy. They're back in their kennel chilling and, and everything is great. Um, so now whenever we have pets freaking out, the doctors hunt me down and grab oils out of my pockets. So that one is peace and calming. And we'll go on to the next one, which is stress away, which we talked about briefly. Um, so stress away promotes wellness and may be an important part of daily health regimen. It's one of the top emotional blends. I use stress away all the time, just like peace and calming. Um, this is another one that I keep in my pocket. Um, so usually I have peace and calming and stress away one in each pocket. Um, and I use them on myself as well and apply as often as I need to, to center myself, release stress and tension. I also use it um, every day that I'm out working with pets and that's whether I'm in the clinic or at my other job, um, at home business with pets. Animals love the smell, particularly when they're stressed out, they find it very soothing to them. Uh, just the aroma will calm them down and allow me to do what I need to do without stressing that pet out anymore. Um, this oil contains lime, copaiba, vanilla, and it's like a massage for the senses. I personally love both peace and calming and stress away. Some people have a preference. I know my mom has said that she prefers peace and calming um, over the smell of stress away. So again, it comes down to your own personal experience with it. Um, and she has found this one very helpful as well. And um, her, my stepdad, Jeff, likes this one a little more, I think, than peace and calming. Um, but it's just all about personal preference and smell. But if you were to find your place in that position and say you didn't like the smell of stress away, but you felt your body really needed it or your mind, again, you could put it on your feet. And next oil up that comes in the kit is going to be lemon. Another one of my favorites to put in my water. Although right now I have citrus fresh in there. Um, so lemon, it's citrus flavor, enhances the taste of food and water. It's a key ingredient in Thieves and Nature Red. It helps to support the immune system and it's wonderful for the liver. I love to put a few drops every day in my water. Um, and I never like to drink water anymore without my citrus fresh or lemon um, or lime or orange or something. Um, but again, you know, it's amazing. You can also use lemon to remove anything sticky. So sticky substances like you come back from the store and they love to put those stickers on everything and you can't get it off no matter what you do. We'll use a little drop of lemon and then just rub it a little bit and it's going to come right up. Um, it's great as a degreaser as well for dirty pots and pans and it has an amazing, amazing smell. I love to diffuse this one as well or even combining it. Um, lemon and lavender smell really good together, but there's a ton of oils. Even just with, if I'm diffusing thieves and I wanna give it an extra lemon kind of kick, then, cause it already has some lemon in it, then I'll add a little extra lemon and gives it a little more of that, you know, bright lemon kind of a smell. Um, and it can just be really amazing. Um, so I love this oil. And then we have Pan Away. I know I keep saying this, another one of my favorites. So pan away, um, apply after exercise to uh, soothe muscles, has a very stimulating aroma, apply to the back and neck for a soothing aromatic experience. The day you get your starter kit, put this oil on your feet and see how they feel. Pan away also helps to support the appearance of healthy skin coloration. 90% of early aging isn't wrinkles, it's discoloration of the skin. So add some pan away to your art gentle uh, cleanser or light moisturizer or apply topically. Pan away is also wonderful for mild occasional headaches. Um, with all my aches and pains, um, this one for me is, is a must. Um, I love, love, love pan away. Um, I use it all the time and it smells so, so good. It has a really good smell. Um, next oil up is going to be Digize. The computer will go to that one. There we go. Digize. 
Um, again, you see this one in the Vitality label. So this one is safe for internal use. Digize Vitality is the top oil blend for supporting a healthy digestive system. Add two drops along with a drop of peppermint to water for stimulating beverage. Take it in a veggie capsule internally, which is personally how I do it if I want it internally. Um, I This one to me is not the best tasting, but I think I kind of don't like those hotter kind of tastes. So some people I think really like it. Um, I just particularly my taste buds are no. Um, so I will put this one in a veggie capsule myself to take it internally, but I also use it topically a lot as well. Um, and then doo -doo -doo, my pets also do love this one. Um, so this has been huge for my kitty cats. My little kitties have um, irritable bowel disease, um, which is just kind of inflammation in the gut and the vomiting in my household over the years has been intense. Um, I really struggled and struggled to try to get them to a more stable point. Um, and that's using just Western medicine. But this to me has been kind of one of the best things that I've been able to do for them to comfort them. Um, recently I have been adding, I got a little container and put baking soda, put a few drops of Digize and kind of mix that up. And now I sprinkle that in their litter box. So it's kind of a way to diffuse it for them anytime they go to the kitty box. And that has been um, very, very effective. Um, and they've been really enjoying that as well. Um, so this again is a must have in my household. Um, and then we'll move on to Raven. Again, this one smells absolutely amazing. Um, that's what's in my necklace right now. This is our, came with, um, for convention with the One Heart Blend and it has a little roller ball. Um, and, and here I have some Raven, which I love, 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 love. Um, so this is a cleansing blend of Raven Sour, Peppermint, and Eucalyptus Radia. Raven creates a cooling sensation when applied topically to the chest and throat. Diffused daily for a soothing aroma. This oil changes the game for anything breathing. Um, I personally suffer from asthma, and I spoke earlier my story about all of my upper respiratory issues. Um, so it wasn't surprising to me that when I smelled this one, it felt like doors were opening, windows were opening, like lights going off, um, fireworks. <laughs> it was really amazing. Um, so this one, I, I could not live without. Um, I love to diffuse it. I'll put a drop on my pillow at night before I go to bed, particularly if my allergies are making me feel blue. Um, so it's been, it's been a really nice one. Um, it just smells very pure and clean and I don't know, it just has a, a very stimulating aroma. Um, and just, it feels really good when you put it on topically as well. Um, so it just makes your night just, you can breathe so well when you go to bed. Um, I love to put it in the diffuser for that, but like I said, just a drop on your pillow as well um, can be amazing. Again, this one has some like pepperminty kind of products to it, so don't rub it in your eyeballs. <laughs> And next up, Paw Ninja Red. So with your premium starter kit, you get two packets of Ningxia Red um, so that you can try them. Do not be timid with them, please. They taste so amazing. I love them. They're so delicious. Um, they taste like a mixture of berries and lemonade um, and all that goodness. So they are packed, packed, packed with antioxidants and everything nutritious that can really just support everything in your body. Personally, my pets absolutely adore this one. Um, they're spoiled little stinkers and really don't want to eat their food anymore if I don't put Ningxia Red in it. Um, so they have their own little combo that I have um, of Ningxia and some other stuff in it. Um, and they, they definitely love this one. My cat, if I'm drinking Ningxia, gets jealous and will like paw at my glass. And sometimes I'll just like get a little spoonful or put some on my finger to just let him lick it. And he just thinks that's the best thing ever. 
and you are going to get two thieves products as well um, in your your premium starter kit uh, thieves products is really what put young living on the map and we have an entire lineup of these infused products that will just blow your doors off everything from dish soap laundry soap to household cleaners even whitening toothpaste in the kit you're going to get two of the of my absolute favorites which is the thieves spray that is amazing for everything. I carry it with me. Um, spray on your shopping cart before you go in, um, on your steering handle of your car, anything that you don't want to touch or looks gross, you could spray it on your table before you eat. Um, if you're in school, you could spray your desk before you put your stuff on it. Um, so it's just great to, to carry and have with you all the time. Um, so I love it for that. And then you also get the Thieves hand sanitizer, which is the best hand sanitizer out there. Two of the most common hand, san hand sanitizers out there contain um, alcohol, which kills good bacteria as well as um, the bad. It also contains toxic chemicals, hormone disruptors, um, and cross polymers as well as fake fragrances. So they have all the tons of yuck. And I don't know if you guys are keeping up with the news, but recently um, they're recalling a ton of hand purifiers that are out on the market that have been seriously harming people because of the toxins that are in those um, hand sanitizers. So um, to be able to use a Thieves hand sanitizer has been really amazing. I love also the smell of it. It smells really good. And the best part about it is one thing I don't like about most hand sanitizers is they dry the skin out on your hands like crazy from all that alcohol that's in it. Um, whereas with ours, we use a dedentured alcohol, um, not an ethanol alcohol. And so it doesn't dry your hands out and it's a natural one. Um, and so it's just safer and it's not going to mess with my hormones or laden me with chemicals that could hurt me, um, smells good, feels good, um, doesn't dry anything out. So, and it doesn't have that ethanol alcohol smell like the other ones. You put them on your hands and you're like, okay, I smell rubbing alcohol or it'll burn if you have like any paper cuts or anything that's on your hands and you don't get that with this. Um, so it's really great. And next slide, Valor. This was my, I would say Valor was probably my first love. Um, a lot of us talk about like the oil that was our first love. And I think Valor was my first love. Um, when I smelled this one, I wanted to crawl inside the bottle. I want to take a bath in this oil. It smells so good. Um, so this, this is also included in your kit. And it was also one of the founder Gary Young's favorite oils. Um, Valor contains black spruce, blue tansy, camphor wood, durium, um, and frankincense. The Valor blend was used by ancient Romans in the bathhouses before they sent their soldiers into battle. Its smooth, relaxing scent is designed for courage and bravery. This is my fear oil. This is my place of calm. It has also been called chiropractor in a bottle and is great to support the musculoskeletal system. So this one is just my absolute go-to for everything um kids love this one you know if they have a big report coming up that day or something they have to head out and do um it can be very supportive for them um i put it on my feet um to kind of i hit my muscular skeletal um flex points on my feet every night with it um i'll just sit there and smell the bottle for like ever um I will have to say I'm maybe too stingy to diffuse it, but I have a few times and it smells amazing. Um, but this oil is, yeah, you will love the smell of it. I can't talk about it enough. It is absolutely amazing. We'll go ahead and wrap up here. Um, so just to recap, the kit comes with uh, 12 bottles of oil, a diffuser. I recommend the Desert Mist diffuser, which you see here. Um, that's what I got with my kit. You get two packets of the Ningxia Red, two Thieves products, and an Aroma Glide roll-on cap so you can turn any of your bottles into roll-ons. You're getting all of that for $165. There's no yearly membership fee. If you don't place an order ever again, then you're just going to go inactive after 12 months. 
Um, and then if you want, you can hop back on and, you know, get going again. Um, if you hop on essential rewards, you can pick out products that you want to try every month and start kicking chemicals out of your house. And that's what I've done. You know, I started, I just replaced my shampoo and conditioner and then it was my bath soap, cleaning products, my toothpaste. So it's not something that you do all at once for most of us, but essential rewards gives you a way to do that. Um, and earn points back, you know, to spend on whatever you want. Um, and then coming, let's see, next month, we will start getting free shipping as well, which is amazing. Um, so going chemical free is a process that you just want to do one step at a time, um, which is what, you know, ER does help you do. Um, but if you look at just this premium starter kit, the cost of the piano and frankincense are worth this entire value of this kit. So you're essentially going to get 10 oils, a diffuser, these products, the Ningxia, and all the literature and training for free. Um, I like this little video that I'm going to play for you guys real quick. Um, this is from uh, Young Living Diamond, Sarah Harnish, her five kids. And this is one year after their kit arrived. Um, they call this their scavenger hunt video. And it's basically just going to show you what a toxin-free home looks like. Um, but she did exactly what I'm doing, which is just going through and um, kicking all the chemicals out and replacing them.
love that little video. It is so cute. Um, so as you can see, Young Living is so much more um, just than one essential oil. Um, supplements, we have a makeup line, um, skin creams, wash, soap, laundry soap, which I was super worried and hesitant about the laundry soap. I have reacted to pretty much every single laundry detergent out there. Um, it always makes my skin um, have some sort of issue. And I've only been able to find like one or two brands that I can actually use. And this has been going on since my childhood. My mom went through all this um, growing up trying to figure out, you know, exactly which one I could use. And so I remember telling the person who enrolled me, Deborah, who's on us with tonight, I really don't want to use the laundry soap because I'm just so nervous. You know, there's so few I can use and da da da. And it really was just like, look, I'm just going to try it and we'll see what happens. Amazing results. I love the smell. I love that I don't have toxins sitting on me while I'm wearing my clothes. No rashes, no skin issues. In fact, the opposite. Everything has gotten better there. Um, I don't have to worry about any of that with my pets. Um, so that's been amazing for me as well. Um, so I just kind of want to end this class with a challenge because I believe in treating you long after this class is over. This oil thing is a lifestyle, not a single class. And that is so true. Um, as you start kind of wanting to get more and more into this and enjoying all the products, you find that everything in your house is all of a sudden replaced with all these toxic products with non-toxic products, pure products, safe products. And your house smells really, really good too. And you smell really, really good. I, all the perfumes that I've ever used, and I rarely have had someone say, oh yeah, you smell good, you know, when they first come up to me. But now it's pretty much every single day, anytime I'm around anybody and they're like, what, what are you wearing? What is that scent? You know? Um, and a lot of times I'm not even using one of my DIY um, perfume sprays that I've made for myself out of oils. Sometimes I've just put some on um, and the smell is just amazing. Um, but go into your home right now and look in any three cabinets, pick something that you have looked for, uh, that you've used for a year or more and look at the ingredients on the back of the bottle. Any ingredients that you're not familiar with, just type it into Google with the words danger of, and you're probably gonna be terrified at what you see. Um, just here I showed um, this, which is a crest mouthwash, which I used to have in my home once upon a time. Um, and you can kind of see some information that I put here about one, this is only one of the ingredients um, in this mouthwash. And you can see kind of some Pretty scary information there that it has about it. Um, so this is things that are creeping in every product in our home has these toxins and these chemicals and they're leading to all kinds of issues because they're toxic. Um, so it just is so important to get away from all of those toxins. Um, I know you'll want to go home and try out all of these products and share your experience with your friends and family um, to live a toxin-free life for them as well. I know that you're going to fall in love with these and want a chemical-free cleaning lifestyle for you, your friend, your mom, your, your family, for everybody. And my goal is that you never have to pay for your oils and that your oils are free and that it's never a burden on your budget. Um, and by doing, in order to do that, all you have to do would be just to share about your experience and then a couple people can sign up underneath you and all of a sudden everything you want to buy is free. Now it's not for everybody and if it's not, that's fine. But that is always there for you and always an option. Um, for me, I personally am not, no longer having to spend um, outside money on my products. Um, things are now it's paying for itself. Um, so it's just really amazing um, thing as well that Young Living offers to us. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap everything up um, and go over a little bit more on how to order and how to become uh, a member. I'm going to stop sharing my screen.